Hello guys, welcome to this video of KSP. I thought I'd do something new this time, so I built a cargo plane. Yes, this is the first video also with voice. This will probably not happen so often, but yes. <laughs> So you can see here I went for a 4 engine design but quickly decided this was way too much and looking on it after that I still think 3 engines just is way too much for this small of an aircraft, aircraft. This probably would be a good SSTO design just looking on it but I don't know. I'm not a good SSTO builder or something like that. So I scrapped this idea quickly. And I thought uh, let's let's try something real different by adding these fins on the side of the plane. And kind of like yeah, look make it look also cool <laughs> in some way. So at this point I decided to slap a kerbal in and add these little fins because it already looked like this won't fly very good. Oh, I forgot. Between these two clips was a try of me flying with this thing and it flied not very well. So I added these back fins. Here you can see the first time on the runway, this beast. So it does not just does not want to come off the ground before leaving the runway in the back. That's beca probably because the wheels in KSP are very sticky, so they stick to the ground and they won't come. They won't pull away from that. There we have this cool shot of the cockpit view. So I think this the nav ball also was affected by the position the cockpit was in. Because the cockpit, as you can see, isn't very level. Yeah, so I tried flying around the KC and maybe land there. But as you See, this is a real good idea. Kerbal ag probably agrees with that. So at that point, I knew it had it doesn't have enough lift. So I went back to the drawing board. Ah, not really. I just left a other another layer of wings on. And adjust the D's a bit. So this was another attempt of trying to get this thing off the ground. Immediately after takeoff, it felt 
way more stable. And it felt really finished and looked cool with this double wing design. And there I, I already imagined the story behind the thing as like kinda a, a very heavy lift cargo plane for the military or something. Or maybe for the civilian use. A very fast cargo plane. So at this landing attempt, I realized this thing can go really slow and it's very hard to break. As you can see there, I hit the brake, I hit full of the brakes and it just won't break. Looking at the footage, um, I could have adjusted the strength of, strength of the landing gear. So the braking power and that helped in the other attempt but I just forgot in this situation. Note, this is the final product of this plane. I probably make a second version and as always I just have to try and bring it to the limits with this backward flip and roll pulling up very close to the ground just had I just had to do it yes. and of course flying straight into the air and looking how long can it stay like that So this plane did surprisingly well, it, it, it's flying very well and performs pretty good in the air. This landing attempt went a bit more smooth than the other because I just had way more lift. But I also was a little bit too fast. So I had to constantly activate the air brakes. See, that wasn't even enough. I had to use. The, the X, so I had to cheat a little bit and break afterwards with the control. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you on in the next one.